All right, and we back on the forecast. Now, I'm getting tired of other groups trying to tell us what we can and cannot do or say. For whatever reason, they feel they have the authority to reprimand us, and we're supposed to just do what they say. Groups like the Jewish Europeans, they try to call us anti-Semitic when they're more anti-Semitic than we could ever be. They literally have their own anti-Semitic laws. And to be honest with you, until they come breaking off some of their reparations money, I really don't care what they have to say. Now, they have no problem receiving reparations, but when it comes to us, they're talking about they don't know if we deserve it. But they're speaking on it like they aren't a part of the group that would have to pay reparations too. It's no secret they were a part of the slave trade like every other European. In fact, Europeans fought each other for the most control over the slave trade. And even though they weren't the only ones involved, they were involved like everybody else was. But they also invested money in the slave trade for other nations like the British and the Dutch. It's no secret they were slave owners. And during the 1800s, along with the Irish, they were the main ones doing the blackface minstrel shows. But they love to call us anti-Semitic for saying anything about them. But most black people don't see a Jewish person unless they have the full outfit on. We just see another white person. It's like the one drop rule for them. And just like every other group, they have a history of not selling or leasing property to black people. But it's only a problem when we practice that. And just like every other white immigrant that's come to America, they felt like they could harm us and get away with it. Back in 1991 in New York, a race riot broke out between the black residents and European Jews. Now, it started after a Jewish dude, Yosef Lifsha, who was driving in a motorcade for some rabbi. And he ended up swerving and driving onto a sidewalk. And he hit two 70-year-old black children. And the car pinned him against some bars over an apartment window. Now, Angela Cato, a 70-year-old black girl who was hit, was severely injured. But she survived the crash. But her cousin, Gavin Cato, who was also seven, was killed instantly. Now, when the first paramedics came, which happened to be a private Jewish ambulance, instead of helping these seven-year-old black children, they helped the Jewish dude that was driving the car. So the black community got angry, like, we're not going to accept this. The police questioned the guy who was driving, but then they let him go. Now, this dude didn't even have a valid driver's license, but they treated him like he was the victim, even though he just committed vehicular homicide. Eventually, a crowd of black residents decided to get justice for themselves. So they started walking towards the Jewish community, burning and vandalizing cars, and they were throwing rocks and bottles even at the police. In retaliation, they did end up killing one Jewish dude, and they were looting and destroying Jewish businesses in the neighborhood. And then after three days, it finally ended. 152 cops ended up getting injured, and another 38 civilians were injured. 129 people ended up getting arrested, and out of that, 122 were black. Now, after it was over, the Jewish community made sure to get the black mayor out. But what we need to understand is we have to stay on cold, because they stay on cold, especially against us. All about. Stop it! 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 Stop it!
Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Willemsburg is leiding. Maar daar de geven het zerik van de country. Oké. Ik blijf door, ik blijf door. You're gonna get you're gonna get arrested too. I'm gonna make sure. I have a video. He hit, he hit someone. I didn't hit nobody. He did. I didn't hit nobody. Both of them. He hit. This one too. He also hit. Both of them. He has a knife. He has a knife and this one. Step back. Step back. Step back. Come on, bro. I'm walking away, bro. No. Excuse me, he's running away. He hit. I didn't hit nobody. Yes, you did. Did I hit somebody? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. He, he didn't try just stopping him. No, he didn't much more. He was here. He was here. He did hit. I have it on video. I have it on video. I have it on video. Yes, I have it on video. I can. He's a victim. This guy. Okay, the shaman of Finn. It's going to tell about the country. And somebody's get covered. And somebody's get. The guy's going to yell, Phil. And somebody's going to yell. I don't need nobody. I have the video. Yes, he did. Wie bist du? Wie bist du? Country. I don't know what happened. I came back around the corner. I see them wrestling in my car. Why do you mix in? What's your business? Why do you start pushing people? He was wrestling as well. What's your business? What's your business? Why do you mix in? Why you mix in? He didn't touch anyone. He didn't touch anyone. He didn't touch anyone. Go over here. That's hell. No. Now when they feel they've been wrong, a group of them will show up and try to get what they think is justice for their own. But we have to learn from that. We have to learn how to come together and protect our own. The day enough of us start practicing protecting each other and make sure that when somebody harm us, it comes with consequences, then they will start to think twice about their actions. And you see they have no problem lying or doing whatever, throwing a so-called code of morality out the window just to impose their will on other people. In Brooklyn, another brother, Taj Patterson, was attacked by a group of Jewish Europeans for no other reason than because he was black. We're following a developing story that hits close to home for members of the Williamsburg community. A group of people in charge of keeping the area safe are now charged with gang assault. Members of the Neighborhood Watch Patrol are accused of attacking a young man on Flushing Avenue back on December 1st. Our Amanda Placenzi is there with the latest developments tonight. Amanda. Yes, Kevin, five members of a Williamsburg Neighborhood Watch Group have now been indicted for the brutal gang assault of Taj Patterson. Now, cops say the attack happened right here on Flushing Avenue. Public advocate Leticia James and other local leaders took action right after the attack, demanding justice. Last December, the 23-year-old black man was walking home near Flushing Avenue and Spencer Street in Williamsburg. According to court documents, members of the Williamsburg 
Safety Patrol Group, commonly known as Shamrim, began to chase Patterson down the street. He was jumped by about 15 members who savagely beat him up. Elected officials say the men also yelled anti-gay slurs during the attack. Patterson had multiple injuries to his head and his body, and he even lost his sight in one of his eyes. Five men, Pinchas Graver, Joseph Freyd, Mayor Herskovic, Aaron Hollander, and Abraham Winkler have been charged with gang assault in the first degree, among other charges. Each could face up to 25 years in prison if they are convicted. Commissioner Braddon spoke out about the investigation. The department from the very beginning very aggressively investigated that uh, crime. It was a very serious crime with incredibly serious injuries caused to the victim. Uh, we initially uh, looked at it as a potential hate crime and brought the hate crime unit into the investigation. Now, we did reach out to the Williamsburg Shamrin Patrol Group, and they had no comment at this time. Now, this brother, Taj Patterson, was just walking down the street, minding his own business, when he was attacked by a group of Jewish Europeans. And they call themselves Shamrim, but they're basically just a self-appointed neighborhood watch. But they feel like they're above the law and can do whatever they want without consequence. They ended up brutally beating his young brother, and he ended up losing eyesight in one of his eyes. Now, they tried to accuse his brother of vandalizing cars, but they didn't have any evidence. They never filed a police report, and even the police said those claims were unfounded. Eventually, five of them were arrested. Two of them, Aaron Hollander and Joseph Fried, cases were dismissed. Another two, Pinches Braver and Abraham Winkler, ended up pleading guilty of unlawful imprisonment, but they only got community service. The fifth one, Mayor Hersevec, decided to go to trial. I was yelling, please stop, please, please. Stop. One minute, Taj Patterson was out with his friends, drinking on a party bus. The next? They came up behind me, they grabbed me, they punched me in the face, kicked me down, knocked me out. He was at the emergency room at Woodhull Hospital with a broken eye socket and torn retina. It happened on Flushing Avenue in the heavily orthodox section of Williamsburg in the early morning hours of Sunday, December 1st. Patterson says the men who beat him up were Hasidic Jews wearing religious garb. 15, about 15 or 20 Hasidic Jews, Jewish men. Wearing the hats. Wearing the hats, the curls on the side. It was a uniform for me. I couldn't, I can't depict who was who because all of it was uniform. The NYPD confirms the hate crimes unit is investigating. Brooklyn Assemblyman Dove Hyken told me it sounds so out of character and that while something obviously happened to Patterson, the allegations are bizarre. Police say Patterson was drunk the night of the incident and it took several days to piece together the facts. It wasn't until someone stopped them, the witnesses, otherwise my son would have been left for dead. Patterson's mother said four witnesses have told police what happened, including the driver of a B-57 bus who jumped in to stop the assault. It's shocking, it's, it's, it's saddened me um, to even know that this level of hate exists in, in so close to home. Neighbors we spoke with told me they can't believe anyone in the community would do this. As for Patterson, an aspiring fashion design student, he's still wondering why he got beat up. I want these people to know that they can't just put their hands on anyone and get away with it and think that just because you have on a certain attire that you are allowed to get away with certain things. We're all equal here. Now, originally, Mayor Hersevec was convicted. And the brother Taj Patterson said he was the one that stuck his finger in his eye, which blinded him. He had witnesses, and his Jewish dude DNA was even at the scene. But then years later, another judge overturned his conviction, saying there was reasonable doubt that he was the one responsible. Now, they all were responsible, but none of them were punished. And they have no problem assaulting our people. But if you say anything to them, then it's a problem. And you're being anti-Semitic. But we can't let other groups of people control what we do, what we say, how we think. We can learn from them how to get on code because believe me, they will get on code to protect themselves against you. They always have and they always will. And we can't be afraid because they're going to do what they're going to do. At the end of the day, we are all we got and we have to protect ourselves. If we don't change our situation, then nobody else will.
to learn the difference between race. Judaism is not a race. It is a religion. Re Judaism is a religion. No, I need to calm down now because I'm f You guys think you're so f smart, but guess what? I'm going to teach you a lesson on this train today. No, no, we're different. Understand that. No, we are different. You know why? Because your people treat my people different in our community. No, that's not true. What are you talking about? You treat us different in our community. You don't even rent to us. What the are you talking about? Your people. You said I was racist, so I'm addressing your people. You said I was a racist, right? Because I brought up Judaism, right? You wouldn't have called me a racist if I said a Mexican family came on here, right? You wouldn't have called me a racist then, right? No, I'm, I'm not hateful. Let me let me school you. No, I didn't say anything. Did I say Jews are dirty? Did I say they stink? No, I said it. But that is not a Jew. That is not a racist statement. That is a true statement. And learn the difference between racism and prejudice. That is racist. How? Judaism isn't a race. Judaism is not a race. Yeah. You're lucky I will knock your tone out. What's your, your name? Head. Where do you live? I will knock your head off. Oh, really? I will knock your head off. For just standing Keep here. Keep playing with me. I'm not doing anything. I'm standing here. But I'm just Keep standing playing. here. Keep playing with me. I want to stop. No. Knock your head off. No. Keep don't playing do with me. Don't do that. God, I got, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't, don't touch do me. Because do this that. is going to the news. I don't care. Do what you want to do. You have a kid. You don't care? I don't care. You should not have push her. I did not touch your kid. Target to check their cameras. You should not get arrested for this, right? You don't care. You don't care if you go to prison. You don't care if you don't go to prison. I don't care. So let's get the straight. Because I didn't say. Oh, okay. You don't care. You didn't say excuse me. You're obviously violent. You didn't say excuse me. Touching my phone. This is being recorded. I don't care. So you're violent. I don't care. Okay. What's your name? This is my name. Yeah, it, it definitely is. But what do you, with your kid, I feel. Then what do you do to her at home if this is what you do to strangers? To her at home. If you hit strangers, you no what do you do manner. to your kid? You have no manners. Look at this you kid. She's terrified. Me. Look at your beautiful She's daughter. Terrified. She's terrified. She's not terrified. Yes, you should have said, excuse me. So, because, so fine. You, so let's say. Let's no, say I didn't say, excuse me. You go quiet. hit strangers. Be quiet. Okay. You should have said, excuse me. So this is the woman. You don't have manners. This is the woman in Target on Flatbush and Avenue I. You don't have manners. And I'm going to give this to the cops. They'll find you. They'll find you. Do what you have to do. So what are you gonna tell them? Excuse me, point blank. I'm glad everyone's gonna watch. And I'm gonna, I'm about to hit you. I'm about to knock your whole head off. Say this. So keep playing with me. I'm not playing with me. I'm about to knock your whole entire head off. Keep playing with me. Keep playing with me. Keep playing with me. Yes, please do. Please get security. I'm asking you to please get security. You should have said excuse me, point blank. Should have said excuse me. Okay, so that because I didn't say excuse me when I needed something. Okay, so I reached over to get a jo shampoo. Okay. 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 So because I didn't say excuse me, you're knocking people up. Yeah, because you didn't say excuse me. Okay, no problem. Let the cops decide. What I'm capable of. So this is what I'm capable. Okay, so you're done or you're continuing? Don't know. You're done or you're continuing? Cause tell me when to hit no, stop. She's not terrified. She's perfectly fine. She's not terrified. Do no, you see all these adults? The way they're looking at you? You're gonna stop? I'm ignorant. Okay, fine. So I'm gonna call the cops on you now. No problem. No problem. I'm calling them right now. So, you guys know how much I love going to Target. You guys know how much I always talk about what I get there. I will believe that there, never walk into that place again. Never. Because of how the people who work there responded to the situation. And regarding what I was saying with the rabbis and the rabbis and see, and I will ask all of you who go there. For me, if you could just stop there, I'll ask for yourself as a Jewish person. It is so scary, guys how situations we feel so comfortable here in america we feel like we blend we feel like we we are never ever going to fit in and be safe anywhere until mashiach comes and we're on israel and every person i guess eventually gets this awakening as a jewish person and 
I had mine today and it's not even in regards to that woman that woman was a crazy psychotic woman who obviously is not normal and I had her on camera and when I called the cops I thought that I am going to call the cops I have this woman literally she had to be pulled away you can see it on camera because she was threatening me and of course the cops I mean of course they're gonna come to my aid right they're gonna come help me right away no no they're not so basically I called the cops and you would think I have this video what is there even a question no it doesn't work like that they're not coming to my aid so quickly and that's when I realized I was like we have no one but Hashem no one no cops doesn't matter if you know the captain of whatever it doesn't matter if you're friends with the mayor it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it can help you in certain situations but we have Hashem and that's it Hashem and ourselves and the Torah and that's it and it's so sad guys that it takes situations like this to make us as Jews realize this and throughout the years that's what happens it's when we see that the Gaim turn our back on us that that's when we realize that, wait, we're not like them. And I realized that today. The cops came, first of all, zero empathy. And the reason, by the way, I've thought a million times of coming on this way. I don't like doing this on my page. I never do this. But this, as Jewish people, it's such an important thing to hear in this moment, not when I'm calmed down. I want you to witness this what I'm going through because you could have gone through it and you might go through it and it would have been the same with you what they saw was a Jewish woman they didn't care the people in Target saw a colored woman with a child and even though she did what she did they helped her and ushered her out even though she was one million percent in the wrong long story short she told them that I reached over her kid, which I did. I reached over the kid. The kid is this short. She comes up to my knees. I reached over the kid, and I. they said that they saw on the camera. I turned around, almost walked into the kid. Right, You know me. I walk into kids all day, right? Oh, my God. Whatever the case is, they're like, she's not only that. In two days from now, she can call up the 70th precinct in Brooklyn. I could do the same for her. And she can get my name, she could get my number, my cell phone number, and she could get my address, which Baruch Hashem is not my address that I live at today. Baruch, Baruch Hashem. It isn't, Hashem was very merciful with that. She, I said, I don't understand, I'm to, you saw she like assaulted. That's not assault, because she didn't hit you. I was like, she hit my hand. No, it's not assault. Literally, I called you, cops, I called you because this woman slapped the phone out of my hand three times and threatened to knock my head off or in whatever language she chose. And what are you doing for me? In two days, you're giving her my cell number. Amazing. I'm so happy I called you. <sighs> Unbelievable. I'm simply coming to talk to you. About what? There's a guy across the street. Said what? He's concerned about you at the gas station. Why was he concerned about me? Because he said that you pulled in. And did what? With some ladies. They're obviously not in the car. He said some ladies. There wasn't no putting some ladies in here. He you got the wrong person. Gas. There's no, there there was no ladies in here. Okay. Is that necessary? Yes, it is. Because is this necessary? You parked in front of me. I'm well, saying I, I had this ass me, bro. Man, you can't do this, bro. I'm not doing nothing, bro. Uh, I, you on camera, man. I never said that you were doing anything. Okay. What do you want? I'm... Do you have your IDs on you? Why do you need my ID? Because now you're being hostile. No, I'm not. Man. I'm not being hostile, bro. You on yeah, camera, bro. You on, man, you on camera. Not. No, no, because you stop. You cannot do this to, you cannot stop in front of me. Like that, you, you, you blocking me in here, bro. You cannot do that. That's not, that's, I'm not doing, I'm not committing a crime. You cannot block me in here. That's not, I can get upset for that, bro. Yeah, but you block no, you still here, bro. There's no point in that. No, yes it is, because I gotta go somewhere and you blocking me in there. What 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 what? What do you just say I did? I didn't say you did. Okay anything. then, I haven't done nothing. You but don't need to block me here. Not... No, bro. No, no bro. I, I can get mad because you blocking me in here, bro. You can't do that. You don't have a reason, man. It's no reason. You just said it. You cannot do that, bro. Stop. Stop.
There's no reason. You just said it yourself. Okay, but Leave me, I'm, Brooks. I haven't done anything. Nothing. Okay. Right. No, bro. No. See, no, bro. I haven't done anything, bro. I'm right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, everything's straight. He just came out here. I haven't done anything. Blocked me in, bro. Nothing. I'm not. I'm not doing nothing, bro. I, he don't supposed to block me in here, bro. We are civilians, bro. You block me in here. You're a civilian too. You're a civilian too. That's illegal, bro. You, if I come block him in there, they gonna get pissed. They gonna get pissed, bro. What's the problem? Why are you doing this? Okay. Well, all you gotta do is say that. No, I ain't gotta say nothing, you bro. Bro, I ain't gotta say nothing. You just block me in, bro. Leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. Ain't no guy across the street sitting there. Guy across the street said, "Girls in here. There's not even no girls in here, bro." What are you talking about, bro? You got the wrong information from that guy. False report. Go get him. I ain't done nothing. Okay. So, basically, ain't no base. An elderly guy called, said that they pulled up at the gas station, yeah, pumped gas, they drove off, and they came back to the gas call, station, pumped more gas within about five minutes, and he said that they pulled over here. Hey, get set back in the Bro, no, we looking at you, bro. It's all on you, bro. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. They're going to... Uh, he said we pumped gas twice, so that's that's two that's two times we did business to that store, bro. In the BMW, in the BMW, bro. In the BMW, bro. I haven't done nothing, bro. You gotta leave me alone. Yeah, he pro. He said what? What did I do? What have I done? While I'm here, what have I done wrong? I haven't said you've done anything wrong. Am I being detained? Wait, 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 wait. Right now, yes. You were you detaining me? That's illegal, bro. I haven't done nothing for you to detain me, bro. Oh, that's illegal, bro. You're gonna detain me? Let me just ask him. Let me just ask him. No, not right now. Where you going in a few minutes, whenever? What's the investigation about? Well, right. Why are you need? What's the investigation about? Because of his behavior. Bro, you 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 blocking me in, man? Nah, bro. No, bro. If he was waiting on you. It's not no behavior. My behavior, he blocking me in here. And he's blocking me in here for nothing. Zaspi's parking lot. In a public place. He come back up. My behavior, if I block anybody in here, this going to be the same behavior. Go block him in. Go let me block someone else in. You can't block nobody in here for nothing. I can't, bro. Listen. Oh, bro. You already know, man. You got chill, man. Bro, this is like, this is white people, bro. This is their area. We're not supposed to be out here, man. Bro, hold up, bro. It's on camera, bro. You gonna force him to do what? You finna force him to do something? Bro, you finna force him to do something? No, I asked him to get back in the car. Alright. Do you have your ID on you? Bro, bro, that man ain't got show no ID. Wow, it's a crime, man. No, look, let me talk. He talking to me. Bro, you're a passenger, bro. I'm on your own ID. Yeah, like what do I have to do with you? Wait, why he got to show you your ID? What are you doing? What are you finna do? Very welcome to Bro, why are you asking me that? Is a crime ban? Bro, it, it, bro, is a crime ban happening right now? It don't care. You don't even supposed to be right here. What you talking about, bro? Bro, it don't matter, bro. Man, I don't want to do this. Man, this is this in our home, bro. It don't matter, bro. You don't supposed to be here over here, bro. Okay, so... You can you look in the car in any room. No, what? I'm putting some water on you. What? Quiet. I don't know. One more time. I'm going to ask you your ID. You're not going to intimidate me. And then if you refuse, one more time, you're best going to jail. For what? For what? Why is that obstruction? Why is that? No, no, no. Where's, no, where's, I need, I need the supervisor here. Come here. No, no, come here. Because no, no, come here. You have to come here. So I'm asking you to come here. You that is not obstruction, because I had I did nothing to get pulled over for. That is not obstruction. That's not what is an investigation about? Pumping gas? Listen to me. That is not obstruction. You're not gonna yell. What is your name, sir? You're not gonna yell at What is your name? My name is Sergeant Casey. Okay. C A S O N. There's gotta be someone above you if you don't know what I'm talking about, bro. I did nothing. Listen to me. Stop yelling. We're gonna stop yelling at each other. Okay? We recall. Okay. Because somebody said that you were at the gas station. I've done nothing wrong. And I'm sometimes gonna, suspicious activity. Wow, pumping gas? Pumping gas is suspicious activity?
Okay? You left, came back, whoever called. The wrong car. There's no women in this car. I'm going to check the BP, and there's nothing. It gave the wrong description. This is what we're going to do. Officer Brooks asked you for your ID. For what? Your refusal to give him his ID, give you. Wait, no, hell no, bro. You're locking my brother up for what? Man, no, bro. No, no, I got to refute. No, he's locking my brother up. And he's sitting in his car? Are you going to give us your driver's license? Bro. He can't lock me up. I ain't do nothing. Okay. Bro, what? He's in the passenger seat. Don't worry. What is, no, no. What are you guys doing? I need to see someone above you guys. No, I need to see someone above you. You cannot lock him up. You No, if you lock my brother, I have to refuse everything. You cannot lock him up. No, he's not obstructing anything. He's a passenger. He's a passenger. He's a passenger. He doesn't have any, he doesn't have to I'm say talking, anything. You, he talking, does, you don't have to talk to a passenger at Wazza Drop. You do not have to talk to a passenger. No, no, you have to call someone. Now to that growing trouble for Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. More images surfacing showing him in black and brown face. And all of this is happening in the middle of a tough re-election campaign. Gio Benitez is there in Montreal with the very latest. Good morning, Gio. Hey, Cecilia, good morning to you. Yeah, his political opponents are calling on him to step down, but his allies are rallying around him. And this morning, Trudeau is apologizing, but not resigning. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau apologizing yet again following the revelation of a third blackface incident, this time captured on video in an undated clip broadcast on Canada's Global News. It was not something that represents uh, the person I've become the leader I try to be, uh, and it was really embarrassing. The video surfacing just hours after Time magazine first published this photo of Trudeau wearing dark makeup from head to toe while working as a 29-year-old teacher. The photo was published in a private school yearbook. I dressed up in an Aladdin costume and put makeup on. I shouldn't have done that. I should have known better, but I didn't. And I'm really sorry. Trudeau saying he also used dark makeup as a teenager to impersonate singer Harry Belafonte. When I was in high school, I uh, dressed up at a uh, talent show uh, and sang Dale in, with, 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 uh, with makeup on. Trudeau, who comes from one of Canada's most prominent political families, says he should have known better. I've always acknowledged that I come from a place of privilege, but I now need to acknowledge that that comes with a massive blind spot. And it's not clear how much this will affect Trudeau here in Canada because many, many people here are willing to forgive him. But again, he is up for re-election and Election Day is just about a month away. One woman seen in this photo wearing blackface right here, releasing a statement saying she regrets that decision. I'm Jeremy Hubbard. I'm Harris Sarah Brady. We first told you about this controversy last night after this photo that you see of the four CSU students surfaced. Fox 31's Michael Konoposik on it for us, new at 10. We're learning more about what led up to this picture. They're just a bunch of kids having fun and, and not thinking. The father of the young woman seen here spoke to us by phone. He says incoming CSU students were given dark anti-blemish cream by a campus organization. But these are not racist kids. But after the picture was snapped, text appeared reading Wakanda Forever, a reference to the movie Black Panther. I thought it was kind of common knowledge that you just don't do stuff like that. This is not okay. CSU says while the post showing this picture runs counter to its principles of community, administrators cannot punish these students due to their First Amendment rights. I don't consider that free speech in any way. That's a form of hate speech. In a statement released by the young woman's father, Leanna Kaplan says, my mistakes have hurt others and I deeply regret the pain that my ignorance has caused. You don't always have to be conscious about being racist. You're doing that, you're not that sorry. CSU says it plans to hold events focusing on campus learning, healing and reconciliation, but details on that still have not been released. For two days in a row now, Colorado State University officials are refusing to go on camera and talk about this controversy. I think the university to do more of figuring out how to stop this. As for Leanna, her dad says she is currently not living in the dorms. And my daughter is devastated. Yeah. Uh, she's getting she's getting death threats. You know, um, she's being called all kinds of obscene names. Some say the public response to the picture is in itself punishment. It's your third week at school and college, and you're a freshman, and that's what you're known for. You might not get in trouble with the university, but 
College isn't going to be a smooth ride for you after this now, right? We've been unsuccessful in reaching the others in this picture. He took all these kids' stuff out of that basket and rescanned it because he thinks they stole something. You guys need to know y'all right. You have purchased your items. Y'all have paid for your items. He needs to prove that you took something. So I will take my stuff and I will walk out the door. That's my receipt. I'm so sick and tired of how they treat y'all. College students. This is the Walmart in Ashland. We should stop shopping here. I'm not going to spend a dollar, not one dollar. When I was a kid 15 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, we didn't do stupid things. You know, it just seems like people have just have too much time on their hands now. Another dumb trend is out there. So let's take a look and see what the kids are doing now. Um, people are, are, are <laughs> they're gluing their top lips to their upper lip skin. If you're a dentist, there is a word for that. Right. I don't know it. But anyway, you take your lip, basically, and you glue it to the top underneath your nose. So basically like the Kylie Jenner lip challenge part two. The weird thing is it looks like it works. <laughs> well, don't do it, Rob. Well, you can do it. Maybe I'm doing it right now. Oh. Well, where people, you remember they were like sticking their hands in like shot glasses and making their lips like really big and whatever. It's kind of like that, but it's like the second version. My advice is don't do it. Second, if you have to do it, if you just really have to do it, don't use Gorilla Glue. Yeah, because it'll be like that for a long time. Which is probably what some people want. Okay. How dare you? You me first. Okay, what's going on? Okay. I didn't fucking touch you. Oh. I didn't touch you. I didn't fucking touch you. Fuck you. Hey, 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 I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going